We're back on the ice. I just kind of hiked through the bush. We are in the middle of nowhere. I hiked back through the woods, through marsh, and now we're at this little pothole in the middle of nowhere in the Canadian Shield. And I heard a rumor that there's black crappies at this lake. And I like fishing new lakes. I like exploring. So we're giving it a shot today. Something else I like is new gear. So typically when you're crappie fishing, you're drilling a lot of holes looking for that pot of fish. Some days you might drill upwards of 100 holes to find them. Today, we got a new auger. If you guys remember last year, two years ago, I did a review of the 40 volt Strike Master. Since then, Ion, their competitor, came out with the G2 Generation 2. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I'm gonna kind of give you guys the rundown. This will be my first time really pushing it to the limits. I'd use it a couple times very briefly, but I wanna see the stats. I wanna see how many holes it can drill, how it operates, how it compares. So here it is, the G2. I would say one of the biggest differences from the Strike Master 40 volt is this is composite. This is some sort of plastic. Uh, it is a lot lighter. I think this is maybe nine pounds lighter. Yeah, I think this is 17 pounds compared to 26 pounds. The Strike Master, I'll have to double check that. But so that's the first thing I notice is the lightness. This thing is incredible. That being said, it's got a different shaft uh, shape. It's uh, how many sides is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. What's that? Pentagon? Hexagon? Uh, Anyways, with that shape of the uh, flighting is you can't put it in those digger holders, which isn't a big deal because there's lots of other auger carriers that are just a tube. So one thing I noticed, if you have a digger carrier, you probably won't be able to use this, but whatever, it is what it is. The color, green, you're never gonna leave this thing on the ice. I don't mind the color, it's all right. And then the battery, 40 volt. It's got a little button on the back here that you can press. It says it's three bars, I just charge it up. They claim up to 2,000 inches on the website. So it says up to 2,000 inches. So I'm not sure exactly, you know, where that's gonna land. I haven't measured the ice yet. I don't know how much ice we're dealing with here. So I'll measure it and we'll kind of do the math. Not all ice is created equal. So th there's just a lot of variables when you're drilling the weather outside, different stuff like that. But on this side, you got your trigger, your two buttons you hold them together for it to start drilling. On the other side, you got your reverse and forward switch, you got, uh, a light on the bottom, you probably won't be able to see it now. I like the setup of the handles, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna start drilling holes. I'll try to keep count, um, but first we're gonna drill one hole and we're gonna see how much ice we're dealing with. All right, first thing, got the auger cover. It's got a nice little ball on the end. Kind of cool, I like that. Pop it off. I can see this is all plastic around the edge, that same composite. And this being said, I did mention that this was a lot lighter than the Strike Master. Strike Master came out with the Light Flight since then. So I guess if you took a 40 volt head and put the Light Flight eight inch on the bottom, that'd be comparable. This is the eight inch we're trying with this here. So, I mean, there's always variables. If, if you wanted the closest comparison, it'd probably be the eight inch Light Flight on the 40 volt. But uh, we're gonna start drilling. We're gonna drill the first hole here, check the ice, see how many inches it is. And then I'm just gonna keep track and start drilling a lot. I, I might pull out the flasher and see what we got for depth. and maybe look for some fish, but we're gonna just start popping holes. Click down the top, click down the bottom. Right there, I marked it with my thumb. We got like 14 and a half inches. 14 and a half inches, approximately, give or take half an inch. We're gonna start popping. You'll see a little time lapse and then uh, maybe I'll stop after like 30 or 40, but I I'm gonna check how deep it is first with the flasher because I do want to catch fish. Guys, we got 23 feet. That is, that's pretty good. I'm gonna change camera angles, make it interesting for you guys. Maybe drill a little further across the lake in a straight line just for cinematography's sake. And we're at 40 holes so far. This thing is fast. That's the first thing I noticed is it seems really quick. This is obviously with brand new blades, it always seems, or it always is super fast. As soon as your blades touch anything, and that's something Aaron has always stressed me over the years. He's like, auger blades should touch nothing. They are sensitive. As soon as you fold those edges, you lose so much power. And as soon as you have to push down on it, it's no good anymore. So you want super sharp blades. Some people I know switch from every season, depending on the ice you're drilling in. If you have some dirty river ice, it might get bad. Anyways, I still got the drone in the sky. I'm gonna switch angles and we're gonna keep drilling. Well, um, the lightweightness of it is incredible. I know there's like the pistol and some other lightweight K drill, the ones you can hook up to your, with your cordless drill. I barely use those. I know those would be good in a situation like this as well. 
we're 13 to 15 inches of late ice ice. So it's not honeycombing, but it's definitely slushier than normal ice. So take that into account. It is warm. It's probably plus seven today. And yeah, those are all factors. If it was minus 40 below and the ice was like middle of February hard, it would probably be different. So I'm giving you guys all the facts. It is really windy and we're gonna do one more round of holes. I mean, unless we keep going, we'll see. One hundred holes, baby. I don't know what to do. Guess I'll just keep going. Oh, is that it? Try popping it off and on one more time. One twenty-four. <laughs> that might be it. Come on, let's do one twenty-five. Come on. 125. 125 holes on the Ion G2 8 inch, 8 degrees Celsius, 13 to 14 inches of late season ice. I, I don't know if I'd consider it completely frazzle ice, but the top couple inches are. They currently don't have a 10 inch model which uh, is a big factor for me with the type of northern fishing I do. But when this video comes out, there might be a 10 inch version, which would be everything I need. Eight inch for, you know, panfish, stock trout, maybe smaller walleyes, and then the 10 inch. I like the 10 inch for big walleyes, big lakers, big pike. Yeah, let's, let's get to fishing. 24, 24, it says 25. It's probably still the same, like 24-ish. Okay, now it says 18 feet, I think. What is going on? So we went from 25 to 18 pretty quickly, which I like. It means there's like, it's not all one big bowl. There's a specific deep spot, which should concentrate them a little bit better. Come on, baby. Let's get one fish. Chilled all those holes. I'm gonna burn through one more battery just because. All right, here we go. Battery number two for the sake of science, for the sake of Getting a good workout for the sake of a really good video title. We're gonna drill another hopefully 100 plus hole. Here we go. I got, that was 95 holes. So I'm gonna drill a couple more. Is that it? 20 or 21, I don't even know. All right, we're calling it guys. That is my first real life use of the Ion G2. I was not paid for this review. They sent me the auger to use. They said, do a review if you want, do whatever. Will I be running this next year? Maybe, I'm not sure. We'll see, I really like it. Uh, I love the lightweight part of the flight. Uh, I, I wanna say it's gonna hold up. I mean, the, the couple trips before that I used it, it seemed fine. Electric augers are the future. Gas augers are gonna be obsolete in a little bit. And I know there's a lot of old timers out there like, ah, oh, if you're up north or if it's super cold, gas is the way to go. I mean, how often do you need to drill this many holes? I know there's unique situations on maybe Lake Winnipeg where you have an extension, you're drilling through tons of ice and you maybe can't afford to have five batteries or whatever you might need. But in 99% of my fishing applications, this is absolutely fine. I never have to worry about winterizing just because that's, I'm, I'm not a mechanical person. Obviously this test didn't take into account cold weather. If it's cold, just keep the battery warm, keep one in your jacket. I've even had batteries like ice cold outside and they still have worked. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna pull my phone, we're gonna crunch the numbers before we wrap this video up. Well, we did 122 the one and 125 on the other. Let's say 123, we'll average it. 123.5 holes times I mean, I got 14 and a half inches, maybe 14 inches, we'll say 14 inches of ice. So that's 1,729 inches of ice. If you ever need to drill that many inches of ice, you got, you, you're hardcore, I'll give it to you. Ion G2, uh, it exceeded my expectations. I've heard rumors of a 10 inch flight that would be absolutely needed if I was gonna use it, uh, you know, 
all season long. Obviously this doesn't uh, take into account how much wear and tear these machines can handle. So that's tough to say, but the composite flight seems super cool. I think, I think this auger might get added to my repertoire, especially if there's a 10 inch version coming out. Uh, it's super torquey. It seems really fast. As far as speed goes, uh, that's not a big concern for me how fast it drills but when you feel how quick this one goes, that is pretty nice. That's it, thank you guys for watching. If you want more reviews like this, if there's specific items that you'd like real life reviews on, uh, let me know, maybe we can do it. And uh, if you guys are on the fence of an electric auger, make it happen. It will make your ice fishing life so much better. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, I'm an official Omar and see if I can actually catch a fish. So this video might be done, it might not be.